వన్ దిస్ ఇస్ డాక్టర్ చిరంజీవి మనకి ప్రొఫెసర్ అండ్ హెడ్ ఆఫ్ డేటా సైన్స్ అండ్ సైబర్ సెక్యూరిటీ డిపార్ట్మెంట్ ఎంఎల్ఆర్ ఇన్స్టిట్యూట్ ఆఫ్ టెక్నాలజీ హైదరాబాద్ యాజ్ పార్ట్ ఆఫ్ డేటా మైనింగ్ వీడియో లెక్చర్ సిరీస్ ఇన్ ఇన్ దిస్ లెక్చర్ వీ ఆర్ గోయింగ్ టు డిస్కస్ ద టూ రిమైనింగ్ అట్రిబ్యూట్ సెలెక్షన్ మెజర్స్ దోస్ ఆర్ గెయిన్ రేషియో అండ్ ద గిని ఇండెక్స్ సో ప్రీవియస్ లెక్చర్ ఐ ఆల్రెడీ ఎక్స్ప్లెయిన్ ఇన్ఫర్మేషన్ గెయిన్ so in this we are going to discuss mainly what is the gain ratio how it is different from the information gain and uh, we'll see the numerical example also to you how we can use this gain ratio so as we already discussed about uh, information gain that is uh, one of the measure that is used to select the best attribute in the decision tree construction this is mainly the problem the problem with the information gain is is biased towards the test with the many outcomes mainly that is uh, it prefers to select the attributes having a large number of values like for example if you take an attribute product id and it is a unique value it is a unique value that means the duplicate values are not allowed so suppose let us say the data uh, database d has some thousand records so then it is going to under this product id attribute is going to have a thousand unique or different values so in such case such case so the if you use the information gain so it will be biased towards the test because it has the many outcomes so that's why we have to avoid if any attribute which has more number of outcomes we better to use the other alternative approach and let us quickly recall mainly because this is one of the important concept to understand this decision tree that is a classification so why you we use this information gain or gini ratio and gini index that is as we already discussed in the previous lecture the entropy so what is a entropy so that is the measurement of uncertainty like for example let us say we have some 1100 sam samples in a data set in this so 40 percentage of the samples are the 40 percentage or we can take the number let us say 45 samples 45 samples the class label is class a and the remaining 55 samples the class label is b so or you can take another simple example or let us take this same example suppose if we select us a random sample like suppose x is a tuple or a sample if you select a random sample x then what is the probability that the class label the sample that random sample class label is a and what is the probability that the random sample class label is b so like here the 45 this would be represented in terms of the probability so 45 out of out of 100 samples so this is a value ratio we'll get similarly and what is the probability if you would select a random sample and that's class label is b and that is would also be expressed in terms of the probability that is 55 out of 100 so and here the both the values that is a probability that is a random sample is belongs to the class a or the probability that the random sample belongs to class b almost high so for example if you take uh, again the same 100 samples but one sample is belongs to class a and the remaining 99 samples are belongs to class b so this is 1 out of 100 and this is 99 out of 100 so the probability that 
randomly selected sample belongs to the class B is high. Okay, so here we can understand how like the distribution of la cla class labels. Let us say in this and um, hundred samples, the forty five and fifty five almost a uniform distribution. That means both the classes, the there are like forty five or the fifty five. So both are almost the same. Let us say the fifty percentage of the samples are belongs to the class A, and fifty percentage of the sam fifty percentage of the samples are belongs to class B. So if there is like suppose the situation like one sample belongs to class A and ninety nine remaining uh, samples are belongs to class B, and the probability that is to belongs to the class B would be more high. So in this information gain or information entropy, the gain, gain ratio and Gini index are mainly used to select the best attribute that is in constructing the decision tree. So that would split the purity of partitioning the tuples or the samples in the data set. How pure the partition is. So based on that, so that is the purpose of using this uh, attribute selection measures so which measure whether it is a uh, information gain or a gain ratio or a guinea index which is gives the uncertainty level of uncertainty should be very less so accordingly we will select the attribute selection measure so and coming back to the gain ratio which is uh, completely the inverse of this information gain. Let us see how the gain ratio uh, will be used to select the best uh, or the splitting attribute. As we discussed the different uh, classification algorithms, like among those, C four point five is uh, one. It is a successor of ID three algorithm. It uses an extension to the information gain that is known as a gain ratio. Which or which attempts to overcome the bias that what we bias, bias uh, we have with the information gain that would be overcome with this gain ratio. So it it applies a kind of normalization that is to information gain using a a split information. The value that is a value defined analogously with the info of D. So the split information on attribute A. Would be calculated by using this equation. Here, the value represents the potential information generated by splitting the training data. Like suppose, if you have would if you have selected a attribute at this stage, then what is the potential information that is that is generated by splitting the training data set D into the these two partitions? Let us say this is D. The data set and this is D1 and this is D2, the two partitions. So, what is the information, potential information that would be generated by splitting the training set based on the attribute, let us say A? So, that split information would be calculated by using this equation. So, for each outcome in this, it considers the number of tuples having the outcome with respect to the total number of tuples in this D. Like suppose here you can see, like suppose there are three outcomes, then the J will be taken like suppose, let us say A, this is for only understanding, easy understanding purpose. So let us take J, there are the three categories or outcomes. So in that case, then, then what are the, what are the tuples, how many tuples with outcome A? And how many tuples with outcome B, and similarly, how many tuples with the outcome B? So this value represents the how many tuples with particular outcome A, right? Re with respect to the total number of tuples in this D. So it differs from the information gain, that is because the information gain measures the information with respect to the classification that is acquired based on the same partitioning. So, like suppose if you would have selected the attribute, but a particular attribute, then what is the information 
we received right the information gain so then based on that we are going that information gain is based on that information if you would select a, any particular attribute to partition so here the gain ratio as i said it is an opposite to this information gain would be calculated as the gain of a particular attribute and then the split information the split information based on the attribute a so this ratio gives based on this ratio we are going to select the attribute so here the attribute with the maximum gain ratio is selected as a splitting attribute so here but the split information approaches zero so sometimes there is a possibility like the split information this would approach to the zero so then the ratio would becomes uh, unstable so that's why a constraint is added to avoid this so where the information gain of the test selected must be large that means at least uh, as large as the average gain over all the tests examined so let us take a uh, same uh, data set that uh, we have used for this info to calculate the information gain this is a, a, a data set the example data which i obtained from the textbook so here we are going to compute the gain ratio uh, for the attribute income so if you sell if you observe the values under this attribute income there are mainly the three categories like high medium and low so if you partition the attributes the set of attributes there are 14 attributes in this data set based on the income it's mainly partitions the this entire data set into the three partitions like the first partition would be having a high income attributes and the second partition low income and third partition be having a medium income so that is this these are the three partitions after splitting based on the income because there are three categories like high medium and low and you can also see the number of attributes so first first attribute that is a, where the income is high there are four attributes here and where the income is medium there are six attributes and the remaining where the income is low there are four attributes so now we can calculate the because we are going to calculate the split, split info on the attribute a where a is a income here so this is the attribute we are going to calculate we are going to check whether it could be used as a, a splitting a splitting attribute based on this gain ratio so we uh, we have to use the formula to find out the value split information of this so the previous example that is to calculate information gain we have already calculated uh, the gain of uh, income that is uh, 0.29 and the split information that is equal to 1.57 so the ratio would gives the value like from this here you can see and this is if you substitute the values because this uh, split information on this attribute income we are going to calculate so there are yeah so there are as i said just now like there are four tuples with a value high that is under the income attribute and six tuples and these are the four tuples so then the first term and this one this is the first term represents the first partition and this is the second term second partition and then third partition so here the 4 out of 14 the 4 out of 14 tuples with a income that is high range income then remaining 6 out of 14 then 4 out of 14 so once we substitute the values and uh, calculate then we'll get the the split info on the income from the data set d that is equal to 1.55 7 so that we can substitute the value and then we will get the the gain ratio on income this is income 
income that is equal to 0.019. So similarly, we will apply the same formulas that is to split information on the particular attribute and then we calculate the gain of that particular attribute also by using the information gain. Then we calculate the gain ratio. So based on that, the highest gain ratio, the attribute with the highest gain ratio would be selected as a attribute that is to split split the to split the attributes at the tuple set particular level. So thank you. So next we will see the Guinea index.